Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a little bit of a different video and I'm actually doing a DIY sewing hack and it's how to make this gorgeous little crop halter neck top um and this is really famous like a really popular top at the moment it's all over princess polly it's all over virgin girl so it's definitely in trend um if you guys like this type of video and you want to see more please send me in some of your inspiration photos and i'll be happy to recreate those as well and also please don't judge my sewing skills in this tutorial i'm only a beginner so i'm still trying to get the grip around my sewing machine and materials and the sewing equipment so yeah just bear with me with that but hopefully i did it well so if you would like to see how to make this gorgeous little crop halter neck top make sure to keep on watching So to start, you're going to want to measure your bust. So I just put the measuring tape around my boob area and just measured that. And my measurement, I believe, was around 78 centimeters. But I did end up adding just a few more to the fabric later on, just in case. So you just want to measure that. I would wear like a tight shirt or you can not wear one. And then you want to measure like your boob area so it covers so i measured 18 centimeters just to make sure the fabric actually covered everything and i wasn't exposed okay so now you're going to want to transfer those measurements onto your fabric so what you're going to do is you're going to measure out the bust um measurement on the to the fabric and I basically just pinned it down um, so I could get an idea of where that was. Then you're going to want to also pin down the measurement of how wide you want your top to be. So for example mine was 18 centimeters so I just did that. I'm going to now cut the fabric out and it's going to basically be a long rectangular piece of fabric. So now that you have your top piece, you're going to make the strap, which is going to be the halter neck. And basically, I'm just cutting out a long piece of fabric and it's about a few centimeters thick. Uh, I would suggest making this um, piece of fabric as long as possible, just so that you have an idea of how it's going to fit on your neck. I am now going to hem the edges and hemming the edges is just going to make the top look more professional and clean. So hemming the edges is basically folding in the fabric uh, to basically make it look like it's straight all around the sides. And you're just going to want to do that uh, by holding it in place with a pin and you're going to do that on both ends of the fabric. Now with my sewing machine I'm going to sew a straight edge stitch all the way down where those pins were making sure to pull out the pins as I go down you do not want to get your pin stuck uh, with the needle of the sewing machine as it can break the needle and cause a lot of issues for yourself so you just want to do that all the way down to the bottom on both sides
once I've done this, I'm going to be folding in the edges of both sides and basically making a little tube. So you want to fold over the fabric at the ends and basically just sew along the edge. I, I basically brought mine in about one inch or two inches as, as I'm showing it creates a little hole so you're not going to sew directly on the edge of the fabric you're going to sew a little bit towards in as this is going to be the place that we're going to thread the strap in later Now that the top piece has been completed, we're going to move on to the strap. So for the strap, we're going to grab the material and basically fold it in half. You are then going to get your pins and pin it down. This is going to make a little tube, which is kind of similar to the top. But what we're going to do is we're going to sew along the pin line and basically going to flip that upside down and it's going to make a seamless strap. Now, unfortunately, I didn't record when I flipped the strap inside out to make it look seamless. But basically, what you have to do for that is grab a uh, safety pin and put it on one edge and then basically feed that safety pin all the way through into the other end. And you'll be able to flip it upside down really simply and easy. If you don't know how to do this and I'm not explaining it correctly, there is so many YouTube tutorials on how to do this. Now that all top pieces are completed, you're going to want to feed the strap through the bottom of both ends of the top and you basically want the strap to be in a U shape. You are then going to feed it through and kind of ruffle it up a little bit so it's nice and tight and there, your top is complete. This is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed and like your new top that you made make sure to like comment and subscribe and also if you recreate it make sure to send it in to me on my instagram which we link down below i hope you guys would like to see more videos like this because i enjoyed it so much and have so much fun sewing so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye